So, here's a stack of Conan comics I've got out for a specific reason today. That is, I got an email from Bunny, who's been enjoying our Conan podcasts, podcasts of Conan short stories, and he wanted to know where a good place to start with the comics was. So, I've got some out of my collection here, and I thought I'd go through and give a little bit of a show and some advice. So this is uh, the current comic that's running now. Um, it's collected in a volume called Conan and Other Stories, and each volume um, includes a sort of an arc of original Conan stories adapted for comics. This is, obviously, this is the Frost Giant's Daughter, and it's a it's a good place to start. This is a good place to start because they're relatively easy to get. You can just go to a big bookstore and they usually have them or they can order them. You can also get them at your comic book store. And they're, I think they're up to number eight or so right now. Now, that's actually the one I just showed you is issue or volume number one. There's a volume zero, which I think is probably something you want to get after because although it's, you know, before one, it's also a little bit uh, not as good. This is the material that is predating the original um, first story that's written by Howard. So it's got some good stuff in it, and it's worth getting maybe later on down the line. Now, I don't actually have the one I wanted to talk about, but there is a um, similar one here. This is from Dynamite Entertainment, and this is a reprint of the original Red Sonja run, which I think is pretty good, but that's the main thing is I wanted to show you the the art is been enhanced by new color, and um, that actually can really increase the um, readability of these these comics, and they're relatively cheap to get. I believe um, Dark Horse has them. This is very similar to uh, something I'm going to show you in a second except it's colorized. The color really makes a difference. So this is what um, you might want to start with, and I don't, I don't know if you do, because it's, it's black and white versions of color comics. Now, black and white is fine, but these were originally done in color, and this is the original Conan the Barbarian comic line done as a comics series really worth reading, very great art, and Roy Thomas does a wonderful job adapting the stories and filling in the stories. But, even though it's, they call this a phone book size, and it's $20, it's a pretty good bargain, it's not nearly as good as when you've got the art, and that's what I've got here. This is an original Conan the Barbarian series, number issue number six, and you can see the color is just fantastic. And this is, of course, the original. Um, so the new colorized ones are actually even better. I, I don't own a copy currently, so I'd have to probably go get one. But this is really fantastic looking stuff. And um, hard to get. I would expect you wouldn't be able to find these very easily, not without spending a fortune. Now. The other thing you might consider is um, buying some mags. Now, this is actually where Conan started, and this isn't where I suggest you start, because this is going to be hard to find. But it's going to lead into something I'm going to show you in a second. Um, Savage Tales is where Conan started and in comics, and we've got an adaptation of Red Nails, which is a famous Howard story and a good one. Really fantastic art. This was originally published in black and white, so that's how people originally saw it. And it's good looking. Really good looking. But hard to get. Now these is probably, this is probably the best way to go, actually. Um, Savage Sword of Conan, available in phone book size, they call these. Probably technical term, but the guys at the comic book store call these phone books, because they're made on phone book style paper and they're thick like a phone book. Volume 1 includes the first I think it's 10 issues, maybe 20 issues of Savage Sword including 
uh, what we've got here, look at that. That is exactly the same story, red nails. Fantastic looking, right? Um, so what's good about these is they're rel readily available, they're in print, and they are cheap. They're about $17.95 uh, US. Now, this is another way to go. If you can find a comic book store that still has these, they're probably really cheap. They were very cheap when I used to buy them. And they're reprints of Savage Sword of Conan, just the best stuff usually, or Savage Tales, which I showed you earlier. And of course, look what we got here. We got Red Nails again. And they should be relatively cheap. But the cool part about this is because they're reprints, they tend to um, get everything together and they pick the best stuff. They don't give you a lot of the draws. Not that there was a lot, but you can just pick up any one of these and really fantastic. Complete one volume. Look at that. But, since we're on the topic of red nails, why not have a look at this? I think this has got red nails in it. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I think I'm wrong. Okay. So this is a Marvel Treasury Edition. This is a massive comic. I, I don't know if you can see how big that is, but it's huge. Um, I love these size. I wish they had done more of them. As you can see, there's just a, a ton of page here. And with that size, it, it's almost like you could take take it apart and put it up on your wall as art. Look at that. I think they're... Oh yeah, look at this. It's beautiful. But there's a uh, portfolio in here that's kind of cool. I thought I'd show you. It's a nice map. Um, listing <laughs> where the adventures of Conan have taken him. You can see the numbers traced out here, what issues, what issues where he went, and of course this is uh, contemporary to the time. I'm sure this map has got a lot more dots today. But it's good looking. You might find that on eBay. Here we go, this is kind of cool. So this is the other Heroes of Robert E. Howard section. This is before most of them had been completely uh, adapted to, to comics. And we've got Cull. You can tell it's Cull rather than Conan because he's got a scar over his eye. And Brule, the Spear Slayer, who's Cull's buddy. He's a Pict. And here we've got um, three versions of Red Sonja uh, by Barry Windsor Smith. Krenkel, I don't know Krenkel. And Frank Thorne who does the uh, Sonya comics that I showed you earlier. See, so it's the same same artist there. Really, he's, he's quite, quite good. 